Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. USDJPY forecast bulls hold the grip analysis HTTP NTVForex.com News ID 134CD2812202011 37.58am USDJPY current price 106.86 The US Treasury yields momentum continues to underpin USDJPY. Japan S July money supply M2CD increased to 7.9% YOY from 7.2% in the previous month. USDJPY is bullish in the short term and with room to break above 107.00. The USDJPY pair extended its advance overnight, slowly but steadily approaching the 107.00 level. The dollar, however, is weaker against most major rivals, only firmer against the Japanese yen. The bullish breakout witnessed Tuesday, and the persistent momentum in US Treasury yields underpin USDJPY. Optimism prevails, despite U.S. Congress members are still unable to reach an agreement on a new coronavirus aid package. U.S. President Trump's executive orders announced during the weekend overshadow the stalemate among lawmakers. Equities advanced in Asia, although European ones are trading with a mixed tone, although Wall Street aims higher ahead of the opening. Treasury yields, in the meantime, are standing at one-month highs. In regards to macroeconomic data, Japan published the July money supply M2CD, which increased to 7.9% YOY from 7.2% in the previous month. The US will release later today July CPI data. USDJPY short-term technical outlook The USDJPY pair is trading near its daily high in the 106.90 price zone, bullish in the short term. The 4-hour chart shows that it finally surpassed its 200 SMA, while the 20 SMA accelerated its advance above the 100 SMA, both below the larger one. Technical indicators, in the meantime, have reached overbought territory, partially losing their bullish strength but holding on to daily highs. The pair has now room to test the 107.00 area, with a break above it anticipating another leg north. Support levels 106.60, 106.25, 105.70NBSP resistance levels 107.00, 107.45, View live chart for the USDJPY NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntvforex.com. Your USD momentum indicators are increasingly set up for a corrective move. Video analysis HTTP ntvforex.com News ID ABF 2688122011 AM Your USD yesterday AS session confirms that there has been a change in sentiment for the dollar. The European morning looked to be driving your USD back higher, but a bull failure has left a growing negative bias within the trading range 1.1695 January 1915 which could end up now being a top pattern. Momentum indicators are increasingly set up for a corrective move, with near-term bear cross-sell signals on MACD and stochastics, whilst RSI is now back under 60. A close under 1.1695 would complete the top and imply around 220 pips of corrective move back towards the old key 1.1490 1.1500 breakout area. The near 3-month uptrend support comes in at 1.1530 today. The hourly chart reflects the growing negative bias now on your USD, with the failure once more around 1.1800 which grows ever more prevalent as a pivot currently resistance. Hourly momentum also suggests that intraday rebounds are a chance to sell for the test of 1.1695. Initial support beyond a breakdown comes in at 1.1580 1.1625. A decisive move above 1.1800 would improve the near-term outlook within the 220 pip range again. NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, 
text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. USD CAD drops below 1.3300 as WTI continues to push higher. NTV4X.com News ID 87981E5 minutes ago by Aaron Sengezer. USD CAD turned south after climbing toward 1.3350 on Wednesday. WTI gains more than 1% to trade above $42 ahead of EIA data. US dollar index turns red ahead of US CPI data. The broad-based USD strength lifted the USD CAD pair to a fresh daily high of 1.3348 in the early European trading hours. However, with rising crude oil prices helping the commodity-related loonie gather strength against its rivals, the pair turned south and was last seen losing 0.12% on a daily basis at 1.3285. DXY goes into consolidation ahead of American session supported by the sharp upsurge witnessed in the U.S. Treasury bond yields, the U.S. dollar index closed the third straight day in the positive territory on Tuesday. Although the index climbed to its highest level in more than a week at 93.91 on Wednesday, it erased its daily gains and was last seen posting small losses at 93.60. Meanwhile, the 10-year U.S. Treasury bond yield is up more than 4%, suggesting that the greenback is likely to remain resilient against its peers. On the other hand, crude oil prices capitalized on the upbeat market mood and the barrel of West Texas Intermediate WTI advanced beyond $42. Ahead of the U.S. Energy Information Administration's weekly crude oil stocks change data and the OPEC's monthly report, the WTI is up 1.4% on the day at $42.18. Later in the session, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics will release the Consumer Price Index CPI data. Experts expect the CPI to rise to 0.8% on a yearly basis in July and a higher than expected reading could give the USD an additional boost in the second half of the day. Technical levels to watch for USD CAD overview today last price 1.3292 today daily change 0.0009 today daily change percent 0.07 today daily open 1.3301 NBSP trends daily SMA 201.3406 daily SMA 501.3498 daily SMA 1001.375 daily SMA 2001.3531 NBSP levels previous daily Daily high 1.3361 previous daily low 1.3271 previous weekly high 1.3451 previous weekly low 1.3234 previous monthly high 1.3646 previous monthly low 1.3331 daily Fibonacci 38.2% 1.3305 daily Fibonacci 61.8% 1.3326 daily pivot point S1 1.3261 Daily pivot point S2 1.3221 Daily pivot point S3 1.3171 Daily pivot point R1 1.3351 Daily pivot point R2 1.3401 Daily pivot point R3 1.3441 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. USDJPY about to break above the 107.00 level. NTV4X.com News ID 60F1792 minutes ago by NTV4X team. USDJPY is trading at its daily high in the 106.95 price zone, bullish in the short term and with room to break above 107.00 as the US Treasury yields momentum continues to underpin the pair. And Forex's chief analyst Valeria Bednarik briefs. Key quotes A Treasury yield are standing at one-month highs. In regards to macroeconomic data, Japan published the July money supply M2CD, which increased to 7.9% YOY from 7.2% in the previous month. The US will release later today July CPI data AA The 4-hour chart shows that USD JPY finally surpassed its 200 SMA, while the 20 SMA accelerated its advance above the 100 SMA. 
both below the larger one. Technical indicators, in the meantime, have reached overbought territory, partially losing their bullish strength but holding on to daily highs. NBSPA The USDJPY pair has now room to test the 107.00 area, with a break above it anticipating another leg north a NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. When is US CPI report and how could it affect you or USD HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 767F5110 minutes ago by Haresh Menghani US CPI Overview Wednesday S US Economic Docket highlights the release of the US consumer inflation figures for July, scheduled later during the early North American session at 12.30 GMT. The headline CPI is projected to rise by 0.3% during the reported month as compared to the 0.6% increase recorded in June. Meanwhile, the yearly rate is anticipated to come in at 0.8% as against 0.6% previous. The core CPI excluding energy and food costs is anticipated to have risen 0.2% MOM and 1.1% YO Y. How could it affect you or USD against the backdrop of reviving hopes of a US economic recovery, a stronger than expected reading might be enough to provide a modest lift to the US dollar. That said, the reaction is likely to remain limited amid uncertainty over the next round of the US fiscal stimulus measures. In the meantime, Yoha Elam, NTV Forex's own analyst offered important levels to trade the pair critical support awaits at the double bottom of 1.17 recorded in recent weeks. Beyond that line, 1.1625 was a stepping stone on the way up, 1.1540 was a swing low and 1.1510 provided support in mid-July. Resistance is at 1.1750, which provided support last week, followed by 1.1805, which capped your USD on Tuesday. Next, 1.1850 and January 1915 await the currency pair. Keynotes NBSP NBSP A NBSP US CPI July preview inflation loses its cash A NBSP NBSP A NBSP or USD forecast breaking double bottom looks near as bulls yield ground. Inflation I'd NBSP NBSP A NBSP or USD price analysis immediately to the upside comes in January 1916 about the US CPI The Consumer Price Index released by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics is a measure of price movements by the comparison between the retail prices of a representative shopping basket of goods and services. The purchasing power of USD is dragged down by inflation. The CPI is a key indicator to measure inflation and changes in purchasing trends. Generally speaking, a high reading is seen as positive or bullish for the USD, while a low reading is seen as negative or bearish. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Your JPY clinches 2020 highs and approaches 126.00 HTTP ntv4x.com news ID D0A3416 minutes ago by Pablo Piavano. Your JPY advances further and record fresh yearly highs near 125 Japanese yen and 90 sen weakness and better mood in the riskier assets lift the cross. U.S. Julia SCPI next of relevance in the calendar. The increasing offered bias in the Japanese yen lifts your JPY to the area of fresh tops around 125.90 on Wednesday. Your JPY now targets 127 euros and 50 cents. JPY has accelerated the rebound from weekly lows near 124.30 amidst the continuation of the selling pressure hitting the Japanese safe haven all in response to the moderate recovery in yields of the U.S. 10-year reference and the broad-based positive note in the risk complex. In addition, the dollar s recovery appears to be running out of steam, 
morphing into extra legs to the single currency and also another driver behind the bounce in the cross to levels last seen in April 2019. In the calendar, industrial production in the broader Euroland expanded 9.1% mom in June and contracted 12.3% from a year earlier. Later in the NA session, Inflation figures measured by the CPI are due for the month of July ahead of the EIAAS report on crude stockpiles and speeches by FMCSA S. Rosengren, Kaplan, and Daly. URJPY relevant levels at the moment the cross is gaining 0.62% at 125.78 and faces the next up barrier at 125.86 2020 high August 12 followed by 126.80 monthly high April 17 2019 and finally 127.50 2019 high March 1. On the flip side, a drop below 122.87 monthly high January 16 would expose 121.14 monthly high March 25 and then 120.16200 day SMA. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me.mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Skip to main content FX Street Oops Error 404 You are in the middle of nowhere Eda S. Embarrassing. This page does not seem to exist. This might be because you have typed the web address incorrectly. Please check the spelling. Back to homepage report a bug A2020 FX Street All Rights Reserved Disclaimer Note All information on this page is subject to change. The use of this website constitutes acceptance of our user agreement. Please read our privacy policy and legal disclaimer. Trading foreign exchange on margin carries a high level of risk and may not be suitable for all investors. The high degree of leverage can work against you as well as for you. Before deciding to trade foreign exchange you should carefully consider your investment objectives, level of experience and risk appetite. The possibility exists that you could sustain a loss of some or all of your initial investment and therefore you should not invest money that you cannot afford to lose. You should be aware of all the risks associated with foreign exchange trading and seek advice from an independent financial advisor if you have any doubts. Opinions expressed at FX Street are those of the individual authors and do not necessarily represent the opinion of FX Street or its management. FX Street has not verified the accuracy or basis in fact of any claim or statement made by any independent author errors and omissions may occur. Any opinions, news, research, analyses, prices, or other information contained on this website, by FX Street, its employees, partners or contributors, is provided as general market commentary and does not constitute investment advice. FX Street will not accept liability for any loss or damage including without limitation to, any loss of profit, which may arise directly or indirectly from use of or reliance on such information. fxstreet.resource.translations Generic Resources by by, Generic Resources Description FXSIT Generic, Generic Resources Title FXSIT Generic, Language N, Months Jan Feb Mar APR May June Jul Ago Sep Oct Nov Dis, Sponsored Content Sponsored Content Time zone CGMT if Google Tag Manager GTM PN 69 BN dot macro 91 Google Tag Manager GTM PN 69 BN dot macro 10 dot search up test X3 D var tests Google Tag Manager GTM PN 69 BN dot macro 11 dot split active tests Google Tag Manager GTM PN 69 BN dot macro 12 tests dot for each function B var a B dot split active tests dot hey zone property a 01 Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me.mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com.
S&P 500 index to trade at 3,500 by June 2021 in the base scenario AUBS HTTP NTV4X.com News ID BD02B6 5 minutes ago by NTV4X team Global financial markets have rebounded strongly from their March lows when fears about the COVID-19 health crisis peaked. The S&P 500 index has risen more than 45% since then and has almost fully recovered to pre-pandemic levels. Economists at UBS review their three current set of scenarios, and forecast S&P 500 at 3,500 by end June 2021 in the central scenario, and at 3,700 and 2,800 in the upside and downside scenario respectively. Key quotes A in our central scenario, we expect no renewed nationwide lockdowns. Moderate restrictions on activity should be sufficient to keep outbreaks manageable with a vaccine widely available from 2Q 2021. This, combined with expansionary monetary policy and a moderate increase in fiscal stimulus, should allow for a rebound of economic activity to pre-pandemic levels by 2022. Against this backdrop, and with yields anchored close to record low levels, we think that the equity risk premium can normalize to pre-pandemic levels and would project the S&P 500 to trade at 3,500 by end June 2021 AA in our upside scenario, we think a combination of earlier than expected vaccine availability, increased fiscal stimulus, status quo in US-China relations, and a benign outcome to the US presidential election would lead to equity risk premium falling below pre-pandemic levels. And we would project the S&P 500 to trade at 3,700 by end June 2021. We would also expect further dollar weakness AA in our downside scenario, we would expect the S&P 500 to trade at 2,800 by end June 2021. We think that gold and the Swiss franc are among the best potential hedges for this scenario ANBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Cable is developing a negative bias within its near two week trading range now. Video analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 6B482812 pm GBP USD with a similar looking configuration to that of Euro USD. We see cable is also developing a negative bias within its near two week trading range now. Again, a bull failure in yesterday AS session leaves the market at risk of a near term top pattern. The range between 1.29801.3185200 and 5 pips means that a closing breakdown below 1.2980 would imply a pullback towards 1.2775. It would mean that the 1.2810 old breakout, which is now supportive, would become a prime target area. Momentum indicators are not as developed in their corrective setup as your USD but MACD lines are in the process of now bear crossing whilst RSI and stochastics are also sliding. The hourly chart reflects this bear bias, with the resistance now between 1.3100-1.3130 as we look at intraday rebounds increasingly as a chance to sell for a test of 1.2980. Beyond any breakdown, support is initially at 1.2910-1.2940. NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. OPEC sees 2020 world oil demand falling by 9.06 million BPD versus 8.95 million BPD previous light ntv4x.com news ID EDA 4C9 2 minutes ago by Aaron Sengezer The organization of the petroleum exporting countries OPEC in its latest monthly report said that it forecasts the global oil demand to decline by 9.06 million barrels per day BPD, compared to 8.95 million BPD in the previous report. 
Additional takeaways oil prices in the second half of 2020 will continue to be impacted by concerns over a second wave of coronavirus infections and higher global inventories. 2020 Second Half Outlook points to need for continued efforts to support market rebalancing through OPEC production adjustments. 2021 Oil demand expected to grow 7 million barrels per day but large uncertainties prevail and may result in negative impact going forward. Forecast for global demand for OPEC-S crude lowered by 400,000 BPD in 2020 and by 500,000 BPD in 2021, partly due to higher non-OPEC supply view. OPEC-S July output rose NBSP by 980,000 BPD to 23.17 million BPD compliance slips to 97%. OECD oil stocks rose in June to stand 291.2 million barrels above the latest five-year average. Market reaction crude oil prices edged lower on this report and the barrel of West Texas Intermediate WTI was last seen trading at $42.20, still up 1.4% on the day. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Which stocks could magnify SAMP AMP P500AS gains in case it rallies? Analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID CC8689812 2021 PM Header Which stocks could magnify SAMP P500AS gains in case it rallies? Take a look at a part of our stock pick update. We have included industrials, financials, and energy stocks this time. The broad stock market has extended its medium-term uptrend in the last five trading days August 5 a August 11. The S&P 500 index got closer to its February 19 record high of 3,393.52 on Tuesday, August 11 as the daily high reached 3,381.01. But the index reversed lower and closed 0.8% below Monday AS closing price yesterday. More than four months ago on March 23, the market sold off to new medium-term low of 2,191.86. It was a stunning 35.4% below February 19 record high of 3,393.52. The coronavirus and economic slowdown fears erased more than a third of the broad stock market value. Since then stocks rallied 54.3%. The S&P 500 index has gained just 0.49% between August 5 and August 11. In the same period of time our five long and five short stock picks have gained 1.62%. So stock picks were relatively stronger than the broad stock market. Our long stock picks have gained 1.65% and short stock picks have resulted in a gain of 1.59%. There are risks that could not be avoided in trading. Hence the need for proper money management and a relatively diversified stock portfolio. This is especially important if trading on a time basis A without using stop loss profit target levels. We are just buying or selling stocks at open on Wednesday and selling or buying them back at close on the next Tuesday. If stocks were in a prolonged downtrend, being able to profit anyway, would be extremely valuable. Of course, Eta is not the point of our stock pick updates to forecast where the general stock market is likely to move, but rather to provide you with stocks that are likely to generate profits regardless of what the S&P does. This means that our overall stock picking performance can be summarized on the chart below. The assumptions are starting with $100,000, no leverage used. The data before December 24. 2019 comes from our internal tests and data after that can be verified by individual stock pick updates posted on our website. Below we include statistics and the details of our three recent updates August 11, 2020 LONG picks August 5th open A August 11th close percent change V 2.18%, WBA 2.45%, ECL 3.13%, XOM 1.86%, PSA 1.38% short picks August 5th open A August 11th close percent change COP 
CCI 2.75%, SPGI 0.95%, PYPL 5.01%, K2.35% Average Long Result 1.65%, Average short result 1.59%, total profit average 1.62%, NBSP August 4, 2020 LONG picks July 29, open A August 4, close percent change IFF 2.27%, WBA 0.24%, ED 0.50%, XOM 0.55%. Wu 7.13% short picks July 29th open A August 4th close percent change he's 1.34%, XLNX 2.30%, SPGI 0.71%, APD 3.33%, KO 3.01% average long result 0.81%, average short result 0.68% total profit average 0.75% NBSP July 28th. 2020 LONG picks July 22nd open A July 28th close percent change MLM 5.87%, MCD 1.57%, INTC 19.84%, XOM 1.36%, IRM 2.58% short picks July 22nd open A July 28th close percent change COG 0.38%, WY 6.86%, SPGI 1.77%, APD 0.40%, HD 1.02%, Average Long Result 4.59%, Average Short Result 1.07% Total. Profit Average 2.83% Lita S Check which stocks could magnify S Amp Pa S gains in case it rallies, and which stocks would be likely to decline the most if S Amp P plunges. Here are our stock picks for the Wednesday. August 12th a Tuesday, August 18th period. We will assume the following the stocks will be bought or sold short on the opening of today AS trading session August 12th and sold or bought back on the closing of the next Tuesday AS trading session August 18th. We will provide stock trading ideas based on our in-depth technical and fundamental analysis, but since the main point of this publication is to provide the top 5 long and top 5 short candidates our opinion not an investment advice for this week, we will focus solely on the technicals. The latter are simply more useful in case of short-term trades. First, we will take a look at the recent performance by sector. It may show us which sector is likely to perform best in the near future and which sector is likely to lag. Then, we will select our buy and sell stock picks. There are 11 stock market sectors energy, materials, industrials, Consumer discretionary, consumer staples, healthcare, financials, technology, communications services, utilities, and real estate. They are further divided into industries, but we will just stick with these main sectors of the stock market. We will analyze them and their relative performance by looking at the select sector SPDR at FAS. The stock market sector analysis is available to our subscribers only. Based on the above, we decided to choose our stock picks for the next week. We will choose our top 3 long and top 3 short candidates using trend following approach, and top 2 long and top 2 short candidates using contrarian approach NBSP trend following approach buys 1x industrials, 1x financials, 1x energy sells 1x real estate, 1x technology. 1x communication services NBSP contrarian approach betting against the recent trend buys 1x real estate 1x technology sells 1x industrials 1x financials NBSP trend following approach top 3 by candidates NBSP BA Boeing co industrial stock broke above 2 month long downward trend line potential medium term uptrend continuation the resistance level of $200 240 NBSP SCHW Charles Schwab Corp A Financials Potential Short-Term Uptrend Continuation After Breaking Above Downward Trend Line The Resistance Level of $36.38 Short-Term Upside Profit Target The Support Level is at $33. NBSP CXO Conco Resources Incorporated Energy Stock Remains Above the Previously Broken Downward Trend Line the resistance level and an initial upside profit target level is at $60. Summing up, 
the above trend following long stock picks are just a part of our whole stock pick update. The industrials, financials and energy sectors were relatively the strongest in the last 30 days. So that part of our 10 long and short stock picks is meant to outperform in the coming days if the broad stock market acts similarly as it did before. NBSP NBSP want free follow-ups to the above article and details not available to 99% investors sign up to our free newsletter today NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Chain link technical analysis http ntv4x.com news id ef3f20 sees another 14% price explosion after brief and healthy consolidation ntv4x.com news id ef3f20 two minutes ago http ntv4x.com news id ef3f20 usd is up by more than 14% in the last 24 hours and on the verge of a new all-time high. HTTP NTV4X.com News ID EF3F20 Bulls managed to cool off several indicators through a healthy consolidation period. Chainlink is one of the best performing coins in the market despite the heavy criticism it has received in the past few months. Currently, the price of HTTP NTV4X.com News ID EF3F20 is stable at around $14 and bulls are eyeing up $14.48, the last all time high. NBSP HTTP NTV4X.com News ID EF3F204 US Dollars Hour Chart Again, the buyers managed to defend the daily 26 EMA and bounced back up above $13. This bull rally is extremely healthy as buyers have been able to establish clear levels of support on the way up. NBSP HTTP NTV4X.com News ID EF3F201 US Dollar Hour Chart Clearly HTTP NTV4X.com News ID F3F20 AS Momentum has shifted in favor of the buyers as the 12 EMA and 26 EMA crossed bullishly again. HTTP NTV4X.com News ID EF3F20 is not facing many resistance levels, most notably, it will need to break $14.29 and $14.48. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. USDJPY There is a real prospect of a recovery gathering pace video analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID B75 DE6812 2020-1237-58 PM USDJPY A broad risk positive bias which drove Treasury yields higher meant that dollar yen was strong yesterday. This has now driven a two-week closing high and the market above 106.00. It means that the 106.00-106.60 resistance band is now being breached this morning to generate traction in the technical rally. A close above 106.60 would be a strong signal that the bulls are really gaining confidence for a recovery. Yesterday seemed to be a session in which sentiment shifted. Looking at the momentum indicators there is a real prospect of a recovery gathering pace now. RSI is rising into the 50s and stochastics rising off AA bull kissa, whilst MACD lines are also accelerating off a cross higher. A close above 106.60 would open 107.50 as the next resistance, which would be the test for a real game changer. For now this is still just an unwind into resistance, but if 107.50 can be breached as a lower high, then the whole trend setup would have changed. How the market responds to 106.45 breakout above last week as high will also now become a key near-term gauge. A break back under 106.00 would be disappointing now, with support at 105.30 becoming a key higher low. NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, 
Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Gold Price News and Forecast XAU USD Rebounds from an Upside Support Line Video HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 56D8 FA 4 minutes ago by NTV4X Team Have Gold Prices Reached Their Peak Video Gold has been on an incredible bull run throughout 2020, with the precious metal surging over 35% this year. A global outbreak of the worst pandemic in history combined with unprecedented levels of quantitative easing by central banks worldwide propelled the precious metal above $2,000 an ounce for the first time ever this month. Read more, NBSP gold rebounds from an upside support line XAU USD tumbled yesterday, falling back below 1900 However, the fall was stopped by the short-term upside support line drawn from the low of June 15, and subsequently, the metal rebounded. The fact that the rebound came from that upside line keeps the door open for further advances. However, in order to get confident on that front, we would like to see a decisive break above the 1960 area, which is slightly above the 100 EMA on the 4-hour chart, and is marked by the inside swing low of August 3rd. If we indeed see a strong break above 1960, the bulls may initially aim for the high of August 3rd, at around 1985, the break of which may extend the recovery towards the inside swing low of last Friday, at around 2015. Another break, above 2015, may pave the way towards Monday AS peak, at around 2050. Read more, NBSP Gold loses its shine A for now the drop in the gold price over recent days has been dramatic. It is no coincide that it has occurred at a time when the US dollar is consolidating and real yields have increased again. Gold buying had accelerated over recent weeks, resulting in a sharp and what has proven to be, an unsustainable rally. The subsequent drop in gold prices around 9% from its peak around $2,075 may yet turn out to be a healthy correction from overbought levels amid heavy positioning. NBSP however, in the near term it is not advisable to catch a falling knife, with some further weakness likely before any turnaround. Prospects for gold further out remain upbeat despite the current correction. Continued ultra-easy monetary policy from the Fed and other major central banks, likely persistent low real bond yields amid central bank bond buying, continuing virus threats and importantly ongoing pressure on the US dollar all suggest that the correction in gold prices will be met by renewed buying for an eventual upward test of $2,000. Read more. XAU USD overview today last price 1934.9 today daily change 24.30 today daily change percent 1.27 today daily open 1910.6 NBSP trends daily SMA 201930.74 daily SMA 501825.35 daily SMA 1001759.2 daily SMA 2001647.4 7 NBSP levels previous daily high 2030.09 previous daily low 1901.52 previous weekly high 2075.32 previous weekly low 1960.67 previous monthly high 1984.8 previous monthly low 1757.7 daily Fibonacci 38.2% 1950.63 daily Fibonacci 61.8% 1980.98 daily pivot point S1 1864.72 daily pivot point S2 1818.83 daily pivot point S3 1736.15 daily pivot point R1 1993.29 daily pivot point R2 2075.97 daily pivot point R3 2121.86 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. 
U.S. real average hourly earnings decline by 0.4% in Julit Ben TV Forex.com News ID 23 BA 5 C 5 minutes ago by Aaron Seng Ezer Real average hourly earnings in the U.S. NBSP decreased by 0.4% on a monthly basis in July. U.S. dollar index dropped below 93.50 after this report. Real average hourly earnings for all employees in the U.S. declined by 0.4% from June to July NBSP seasonally NBSP adjusted, the U.S. NBSP Bureau of Labor Statistics reported on Wednesday. Additional takeaways This result stems from an increase of 0.2% in average hourly earnings being more than offset by an increase of 0.6% in the Consumer Price Index for all urban consumers CPIU. Real average weekly earnings decreased 0.6% NBSP over the month due to the change in real average NBSP hourly earnings combined with a 0.3% decrease in the average workweek. NBSP NBSP real average hourly earnings increased 3.7%, seasonally adjusted, from July 2019 to July 2020. Market reaction The US dollar index edged lower in the last minutes and was last seen losing 0.2% on a daily basis at 93.45. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna I come from www.ntvforex.com. GBP USD remains depressed, holds above 1.3000 mark post US CP at ntvforex.com news ID CAE1C56 minutes ago by Haresh Menghani GBP USD failed to capitalize on the UK GDP report led intraday uptick. Even a modest USD pullback from highs failed to impress bullish traders. The latest U.S. consumer inflation figures did little to provide any impetus. The GBP-USD pair dropped to fresh weekly lows during the mid-European session, with bears now looking to extend the downfall further below the key 1.3000 psychological mark. The pair failed to capitalize on its intraday bounce, instead met with some fresh supply near the 1.3065 region and drifted into the negative territory for the second straight session on Wednesday. The early uptick was sponsored by better-than-expected UK GDP report and a modest intraday US dollar pullback. Despite hopes of a US economic recovery, the greenback struggled to preserve its early gains amid uncertainty over the next round of the US fiscal stimulus measures. Even some strong follow-through uptick in the US Treasury bond yields failed to impress the USD bulls or provide any impetus to the GBP-USD pair. Meanwhile, the latest leg of a sudden drop over the past hour or so lacked any obvious fundamental catalyst and could be solely attributed to some technical selling. However, it will be prudent to wait for some strong follow-through selling before traders start positioning for an extension of the recent pullback from multi-month tops. On the economic data front, the headline US CPI rose 0.6% MOM in July as compared to 0.3% anticipated while the yearly rate also surpassed consensus estimates and came in at 1% during the reported month. Meanwhile, core CPI excluding energy and food costs rose 0.6% and 1.6% on a monthly and yearly basis, respectively. The data did little to influence the GBP-USD pair's momentum, warranting some caution for bearish traders. Hence, it will be prudent to wait for some follow-through selling below the 1.3000 mark before positioning for any further near-term depreciating move. Technical Levels to Watch GBP USD Overview Today Last Price 1.3019 Today Daily Change 0.0029 Today Daily Change Percent 0.22 Today Daily Open 1.3048 NBSP Trends Daily SMA 201.2897 Daily SMA 501.2678 Daily SMA 1001.2517 Daily SMA 2001.2711 NBSP Levels Previous Daily 
daily high 1.3132 previous daily low 1.3042 previous weekly high 1.3186 previous weekly low 1.2982 previous monthly high 1.317 previous monthly low 1.236 daily Fibonacci 38.2% 1.3076 daily Fibonacci 61.8% 1.3098 daily pivot point S1 1.3016 daily Pivot point S2 1.2984 daily pivot point S3 1.2925 daily pivot point R1 1.3106 daily pivot point R2 1.3164 daily pivot point R3 1.3197 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Gold you take the stairs up but the elevator back down video analysis http ntv4x.com news id b74 b4182012202012 52:14 pm gold we have been discussing the prospect of a near term gold correction but the aggressive nature of the pullback has been something to behold you take the stairs up but the elevator back down losing $115 on the day yesterday is a mammoth sell off and it is continuing today we have been talking about the support of the two-month uptrend today at $1,867 being an eventual pullback area, but never imagined it would get there so fast. Momentum indicators have gone into sharp reversal, with RSI back under 50, along with crosses on MACD and stochastics. The aggressive sell-off could mean that the next real price support at $1,789-$1,818 comes into play. This has been a fast-moving market, and we would prefer to let the dust settle somewhat now. Our view remains that gold is a buy into supported weakness, but the support part of that is now crucial. Catching a falling knife is a dangerous game, especially when the floodgates of selling have been opened. Contrarians will already be eyeing a slowing of selling momentum overnight and a pickup of $40 from the early low at $1,863 is coming through. Initial resistance is $1,929 an overnight lower high and $1,940 an old consolidation range low. NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Traders are looking at the shiny thing and not the big picture analysis. HTTP ntv4x.com news ID 9679E81220202020 p.m. Outlook We get US CPI today, sure to cause a ruckus no matter what it shows. Theta S because traders are looking at the shiny thing and not the big picture. The big picture is that no central bank is even close to thinking about raising rates because of inflation or anything else. We are likelier to get more rate cuts to zero and below than to get an institutional validation of inflation. The disruption, if that is the right word, is the US issuing the biggest ever amount of 10-year notes today, $38 billion, after the three years yesterday and 30 years tomorrow. This is having the effect of driving a sell-off in European bonds according to Reuters, lifting yields 3-4 points. Yesterday the Bund got its biggest one-day spike in a month up 4 BP, with Spain up 4 NP and Italy, 3 BP a Belgian, Dutch, Finnish and Irish bond yields also jumped a the Commerce Bank analyst said a risk on in recent days is taking its toll, but also the US supply avalanche we re seeing this week requires some concessions a but the sell-off is premature. A fundamentally nothing has changed. The coronavirus situation has not improved, the macro situation has not changed, if anything the political risk from US China has increased aida s silly to imagine inflation is coming, inflation is coming theta s the reason yields jumped 8 points yesterday and gold took a bath. This is bad reasoning. Recessions are deflationary, and even if we do get a rise in some inflation data, 
the Fed and other central banks are nowhere close to raising rates. In fact, we just got another QE initiative in New Zealand that will persist into 2022. We are going to get a lot of talk about gold. Some say the gold rally ended when treasury yields jumped and PPI was double the level expected. We say one dia s pullback is far too early to say any rally has ended. Why was gold rallying in the first place not because of inflation expectations, but rather because with so few assets delivering real yield, the choices between overpriced equities and commodities. The cost of storage and insurance is low compared to the potential losses in equities and those lousy bond returns. As it happens, gold is still pretty high. Bloomberg notes ETA S about a 4% above a closely watched Fibonacci level and its 50-day moving average. That could make dip buyers cautious a well, yes, but dip buyers will emerge at some point because the underlying reasons to buy gold are still in place, and that includes the absence of fundamentals supporting a rise in yields. The quarterly refunding that started yesterday with the three years moves on to today s 10 years and 30 years on Thursday. An increase in supply by $112 billion might have a temporary market moving effect but compared to years past, ETA s not a wild number, and in any case, it has been known, should have been discounted, and is not a surprise or a shock. We are always scared to say much of anything about the bond market because we are not among the dozen or so people who actually understand it, but it seems clear that yesterday AS yield bump is aberrant. ETA s not normal. Bonds are not what they used to be in the first place a safe real return on savings. The current return is negative on the inflation-adjusted basis and thus we are in a new financial world. What does it matter if bond yields rise 3 BP or 30 BP in a world in which the next central move, in the worst-case scenario, is additional rate cuts to zero and below this leads up back to chart reading? In the end, we have to ask how to tell the difference between a corrective pullback and an outright reversal. Unfortunately, there is no single correct answer. The answer depends entirely on the expected holding period of the position. If your trading time frame is 240 minutes, a pullback that delivers a series of lower lows, a parabolic reversal and crossover in MACD or directional movement, and breaks a bend or channel, for practical purposes you want to reverse your position from long to short. If your time frame is a 12-24 hour holding period, you need to wait for confirmation or risk getting whipsawed by a false breakout. And a very high proportion of breakouts are false in the sense that they are short-lived. Further, on the current EURUSD chart, we think we see a double top, but the price has yet to surpass the center low at 1.1694 from August 3rd that would constitute confirmation, and even then the pattern can be wrong and the down move fail, or it may deliver a dead cat bounce. Again, the shorter-term trader can make a gain on a dead cat bounce while the longer-term trader has to live through it. NBSP These are the technical excuses for taking big losses when a pullback appears you ought to think a good grasp of the fundamentals would help navigate these churning waters, but in practice information overload and other distractions gets in the way, not to mention fairly stupid ideas that hold the upper hand, if only briefly. That inflation is coming is one of those silly ideas, implying that the bump in yields and the dump in gold should be short-lived. NBSP 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 This is an excerpt from A. The Rockefeller Morning Briefing A which is far larger about 10 pages. The briefing has been published every day for over 25 years and represents experienced analysis and insight. The report offers deep background and is not intended to guide FX trading. Rockefeller produces other reports in spot and futures for trading purposes. To get a two-week trial of the full reports plus trader's advice for only $3.95. Click here NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna I come from www.ntvforex.com. 
Crypto-friendly British app Revolu reportedly tripled losses in 2019-HTTPNTV4X.com News ID 110,087 Four minutes ago Revolu's losses in 2019 surged over 200% due to investment in international expansion, Revolu founder and CEO says. Revolu, a crypto-friendly trading app and one of the biggest fintechs in Europe reportedly tripled its losses in 2019 despite growth in revenue and new customers. The London-based company reportedly posted a total loss of more than 106 million British pounds $139 million, up from about 33 million pounds $43 million in 2018. Nick Storinsky, founder and CEO at Revolu, outlined that the massive losses in 2019 came despite a significant surge in customers, CNBC reports August 11. A we increased daily active customers by 231% and the number of paying customers grew by 139%, A. Storinsky noted. Over the course of 2019, Revolu also saw a sharp increase in revenue. As reported, Revolu's revenues in 2019 jumped 180% from £58 million $76 million in 2018 to nearly £163 million Euro $213 million. According to Storinsky, the main reasons for the mounting losses were aggressive investment in global expansion and new product offerings. Revolu revealed its ambitious expansion plans in October 2019 announcing its partnership with Visa to grow its services globally across 24 new markets like Australia, Brazil, Canada, Japan, New Zealand, Russia, Singapore, and the United States. In August 2019, Revolu also launched a zero-fee stock trading feature to customers in the United Kingdom and Europe in a bid to compete with brokers like Hargreaves Lansdowne AJ Bell. Revolu has been showing apparent signs of difficulties in recent months. In June 2020, the company reportedly fired dozens of employees. While the move was reported to be a cost-saving measure amid the coronavirus-fueled crisis, a new CNBC report says that Revolut's business momentum has not been affected as the firm added another 3 million users in 2020 despite the pandemic. Revolu is not the only crypto-related firm that posted some losses in 2019. As reported by Cointelegraph, Canaan, a Nasdaq-listed Bitcoin BTC mining equipment supplier, reported a net loss of $148 million for 2019 earlier this year. Galaxy Digital, a major crypto investment bank founded by ex-Goldman Sachs partner, Mike Novogratz, also continued to see losses in 2019, posting a $33 million loss in Q4 2019. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Gold price analysis rapid recovery rams through tough resistance. Levels A Confluence Detector NTV4X.com News ID 78 BB 3 F 5 minutes ago by Yoha Elam Gold has staged a remarkable recovery, rising some nearly $90 from the lows A yet after crashing around $200 from the all-time highs of $2,075. Higher US bond yields A coming ahead of massive debt issuance A have been attributed to the precious metal S downfall. However, after XAUUSD entered overbought conditions, a fall was on the cards, even overdue. Sino-American tensions, a bond auction, speeches by Federal Reserve officials, and other events are rocking markets. Russia's vaccine announcement is also in play. How is gold positioned on the technical charts NBSP The NBSP Technical Confluences Indicator NBSP is showing that gold has overcome a strong convergence of lines at $1,931, turning resistance into support, and allowing for fresh gains. The noteworthy indicators meeting there including the Bollinger Band 15 minutes middle, the simple moving average 1015M, the Fibonacci 23.6% one month and the Fibonacci 23.6% one day. NBSP looking up, 
some resistance awaits at around $1,950, which is the confluence of the previous 4H high and the Fibonacci 38.2% one day. NBSP the next cap is at $1,955, which is where the simple moving average 10 4H hits the price. Below $1,931, the next support line is at $1,917 which is a juncture of lines including the Bollinger Band 1H middle and the SMA 5 4H. NBSP key XAU USD resistances and supports confluence detector The confluence detector finds NBSP exciting opportunities using technical confluences. NBSP the TC is a tool to locate and point out those price levels where there is a NBSP congestion of indicators, NBSP moving averages, Fibonacci levels, pivot points, etc. Knowing where these congestion points are located is very useful for the trader, and can be used as a basis for different strategies. Learn more about technical confluence. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna I come from www.ntv4x.com. Crypto porn startup says its new governance system is better than DAOSHT NTV4x.com news ID 92 FCBF 1 minutes ago porn visory is moving to a decentralized governance structure based on the DFO standard, which allegedly allows greater user influence than DAOS. Cryptocurrency pornography startup Pornvisory is moving to a decentralized governance structure based on the decentralized flexible organization ADFO standard. According to Pornvisory, DFO governance will enable token holders to propose changes and vote on governance aspects that will be subject to community voting. Platform users will need to stack the platform a SPVY Ethereum based tokens to access the governance system. The announcement comes shortly before the first airdrop of the Firma SPVY token scheduled for the end of the month. DFOs are on-chain organizations that closely resemble decentralized autonomous organizations that further emphasize the community's ability to shape the services. NBSP Pornvisory's founder, Veronica Nishis, told Cointelegraph that while a DAO handles some control over to the users, a DFO allows for any aspect of the decentralized application to be changed. Nishis explained that DAOs allow the community to set the DAPA's configuration parameters, while DFOs allow them to change the code thanks to a modular design. Because of this, she said that the community can even determine the algorithms that govern the ecosystem A and a DFO users can cast votes in an anonymous and censorship-resistant way because the code can be saved on-chain and becomes readable to all forever Aina she's concluded that decentralization is the feature that motivated her firm to move into the blockchain space. She said that she believes that users are important for any endeavor so they wanted them to be in control. As Cointelegraph reported in late May, Pornvisory plans to reward its users with tokens for watching adult content on its platform. The tokens can then be used to pay for premium content, interact with models on a dedicated live streaming platform and spent in specialty shops. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna I come from www.ntv4x.com. Ouch that engineered takedown has left a mark analysis http ntv4x.com news idc 0 is 74 e 8 12 20 20 12 54 35 pm gold amp silver are taken down by huge amounts, nbsp the dollar bugs fight back nbsp good dia and a wonderful wednesday to you well, no reason whatsoever to beat around a bush today iave never. Ever seen a one day move like I saw yesterday in Golda Eda SA? Real shame, folks. For this move was downward, and at one point in the day it totaled $100. One sale begot another one, and so. Ona, but as Neil Young sang, I want a tea, let it bring me down, for Eda S only castles burning ga. There I got that off my chest now back to regular programming ga. Day one of Chuck and Alex being on our own went fabulous liar a very damaging storm had come through the night before, 
and some people in Missouri were still without power and our pool was covered with small twigs and leaves I am just beside myself today, still reeling from the onslaught of selling that gold had to go through yesterday Ah, in the meantime, Seals and Crofts greet me this morning with a song from my high school years we may never pass this way again as so a what on heaven and earth. Brought about the massive selling of gold yesterday I told you in the morning that it was already down $48 and the sellers were pointing to the idea that the infection numbers for the COVID virus were coming down, and that Russia was reporting that they had a vaccine ready to administer. But come on I can tell you that some of Golda's rise in price was generated by the second wave, or first wave that we never got through ah but not all of it, and as I explained yesterday, all the reasons for Golda's rise were still in plus a zero to negative interest rates, negative yielding bonds, money printing out the Yahoo! and an economy teetering on collapsing of the kitco.com website has an interesting chart each day, they show what the price of gold that was affected by the dollar trading. And then they show the amount of movement that was affected by sellers, NBSP yesterday, the move in gold that was caused by dollar strength, was $1. That alone should tell you that the boys in the band backed up their truck full of short trades, and unloaded them. 575,000 contracts were traded in gold yesterday. That s unbelievable to me. But then when the boys in the band want to take something down, they don't mess around NBSP the total damage done to gold at the close of the day was $117.90 leaving gold at $1,910. The good news is that maybe the boys in the band used up all their bullets yesterday, as gold is up $25 in the early trading today. NBSP and silver was treated as badly as gold, but silver's loss of around $4 was a larger percentage downward move. And silver closed at $24.76, with around 350,000 total contracts traded. NBSP and during all this engineered takedown of both gold and silver, there was not a peep from the CFTC, or the COMEX, or any other entity that should have been saying things like, we're going to investigate how this happened. So, as Ed Steer said in his letter today, a pox on them all, NBSP silver, like gold has bounced this morning and is up a dollar to $25.92. NBSP well, gold amp silver were in a tea the only investments to fall to the dollar bugs yesterday ah. The currencies, which in the early morning were looking very perky, gave back their gains as the day went along ah. This, to me, just looks like a PPT effort to keep the dollar from falling off the cliff of the PPT for all of you new to classes the plunge protection team, which was created in 1987, to prevent another October stock market crash. -a. But over the years, the PPT has expanded their protection to the dollar. -a. And since they have currency they can easily print and use to buy dollars, when moves as strong as the one yesterday occurs. I just have to believe that Ida s the PPT once again a. Uh. Hey, how about some good news did you see where the government of s Dakota, made a video telling people to move there to regain their freedoms, liberties, lives and livelihoods school will open in s Dakota on time, and even with the 4th of July MT Rushmore fireworks gathering, the COVID-19 virus is under control a. Uh. So a. Uh. Their good news I did want to talk about the currencies rising vs the dollar yesterday but totally forgot what I was going to say, but not now I am loaded for bear NBSP in the past few weeks, while the dollar got sold, and the currencies got bought, I kept thinking that there was going to be a something that stopped this trend, at least for the near term, because the countries with rising currencies, don't need their currency getting too strong, while they attempt to bring back their lost economy as saw. It was going to be a pull and then be pulled by outside forces, and yesterday, I think it all came to a hiata. Before I went on vacation, I threw an idea against the wall to see if it stuck, and Ida s still be bandied about, so for all intent and purpose, the traders were rewarding the currencies of the countries that appeared to have the COVID-19 virus under control of Sweden, Australia, New Zealand, Norway and a few others were joining the offset to the dollar, the euro, in gaining vs the dollar a but, as fate would have eaten the rewarding for controlling the virus went the dollar s way, once again a. Wo da thought that would happen not mayatha s for sure if, we in the US have this virus under control, 
IALL gladly say I was wrong about how I didn't see us forgetting about the virus until 2025 NBSP but if we have it under control, why are states closing up businesses again I am just asking a question that traders arena T going to answer, because they know the answer recall yesterday, I went through the exercise of explaining why I thought PPI wholesale inflation was going to rise a and lo and behold it did I thought I saw a putty tat, I did. I did PPI was up 0.6% in July, which was a large increase from Junia S negative 0.2%. Today, we LLC the color of the stupid CPI consumer inflation A. Eta S too early for the increase in PPI to show up here, so who knows that the powers that be, will allow CPI to show a this whole scenario has to be a real conundrum for the Fed heads. And just like a two-handed economist. The Fed heads want inflation, but they can't have it spiraling are of control right out of the starter S gate, so you can expect that the CPI next month 1T begin to show the increase in wholesale prices. I'm just saying, NBSP the US data cupboard is still wanting. We will see the stupid CPI for July print today, along with the July federal budget deficit. NBSP the moronic negotiations to come up with another deficit spending stimulus bill are still going on, NBSP moronic meetings are run by NBSP fill in the blank, but I know what I would put down but just to keep it softer, I'll say dolts. So, if you have a moronic meeting, run by NBSP you get moronic results. Again. I'm just saying, NBSP to recap. There was an engineered takedown of both gold and silver yesterday, the like that I've never seen before Chuck goes through the gyrations, and calls for a pox on the CFTC and COMEX. The dollar bulls were backed by the PPT in Chuck's opinion and the perky levels for the currencies yesterday morning were wiped out, it was an overall very ugly day for non-dollar investors or, here's your snippet on January 31st of this year. Researchers for the Federal Reserve released a study that showed that the largest banks operating in the U.S. have been gaming their stress test results by intentionally dropping their exposure to over-the-counter derivatives in the fourth quarter. The fourth quarter data is the information used by the Federal Reserve to determine surcharges on capital for global systemically important banks, or GSIBs. The report, How Do U.S. Global Systemically Important Banks Lower Their Capital Surcharges? was written by Jared Berry, Akbar Khan, and Marcelo Rezend. We decided to evaluate this claim for ourselves, using the quarterly derivative reports provided by the Office of the Controller of the Currency OCC, the regulator of national banks. The data was appalling. The largest Wall Street banks not only dropped their level of derivatives by trillions of dollars in the fourth quarter, but they restored those derivatives by the end of the following first quarter. See first OCC chart below which shows the largest of the top 25 banks by derivative exposure. In the case of JP Morgan Chase, it dropped its total derivatives from $55 trillion notional face amount in the third quarter to $46.9 trillion in the fourth quarter of 2019, a decline of $8 trillion in one quarter or 15%. But by the end of the first quarter of 2020, JP Morgan had pushed those derivatives back up to $59.6 trillion. The Federal Reserve seems to be accepting this behavior from JP Morgan Chase as a legitimate means of reducing its capital requirements. Yesterday, the Federal Reserve announced the new capital requirements for the largest, global systemically important banks, or GSIBs. We fully expected JP Morgan Chase to be slapped with the highest capital requirements since its systemic risk report last year showed it to be the riskiest bank in the US and, clearly, based on the above research that appears on the Fed's own website, it's aware of JP Morgan's window dressing, the term used by its own researchers. All of this is just further evidence that Congress needs to take away the supervisory powers over banks from the Federal Reserve strip it of its ability to bail them out and restrict the Fed to setting monetary policy. Those restrictions can at arrive soon enough. Chuck again, stress test, mess tests what a crock why give them the stress test if they are going to just rig it to make them look strong and why hasn't he someone at the Fed regulatory division looked into this and made suggestions as to how to stop it from happening well that's a question that's easy to answer. 
because they are lazy and have no intention or interest in coming down on the banks they regulate. Let that sink in. NBSP market prices a twelve twenty American style a dollar point seven one two seven Kiwi point six five four zero C dollar point seven five two three Euro one point one seven six three Sterling one point three zero one six Swiss one point zero nine three nine dollars European style rand seventeen point four two six zero Krona eight point nine seven two two eight point seven two zero one Swedish Kronor Foreign 293.41, NBSP Zloty 3.7457, NBSP Corona 22.2177, Rub 73.10, Yen 106.96, Sing 1.3738, 7.7507 Hong Kong Dollars, INR 74.65, China 6.9467, Peso 22.36, BRL 5.4416, dollar index 93.59, oil $42.19, 10-year 0.67%, silver $25.92, platinum $934, palladium $2,048, and gold, $1,935.40 that s it for today, and this week. My monthly oncologist appointment is tomorrow morning. I made dinner last night, and then I couldn't eat it, as my stomach turned on me. I was treated to an old favorite sandwich yesterday for lunch. Good friend, Dwayne, stopped by and brought me a pastrami sandwich from Carl S. Deli. Talk about yummy I used to go to my oncologist at St. Mary S. Hospital and Carl S. Deli was right across the street so there were lots of times I would stop and get two pastrami with pepper cheese sandwiches. One for me, one for Duane. But now I go to the oncologist right around the corner from me. So, yesterday's surprise was truly appreciated no birthdays this weekend that I know of. And the second day of being alone during the day went just fine. Jimmy Buffett takes us to the finish line today with his song A Pirate Looks at 40. I always like the line in the song I made enough money to buy Miami, but I pissed it away too fast I always tried to make sure that didn't happen to me not that I made enough money to buy Miami I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday, and please be good to yourself. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Your USD forecast bulls battling to extend the advance beyond 1.1800 analysis http ntv4x.com news id 1b868812202010034 pm your USD current price 1.1783 US inflation ticked higher in July, further boosting the positive ruling mood. Equities continue to rally providing support to the shared currency. Your USD is heading north but a bullish continuation not yet confirmed. The Your USD pair hit a lower low for the week at 1.1710, although the latest dollar s strength has somehow receded, with the greenback trading unevenly against its major rivals. NBSP however, and given the positive momentum of equities, the dollar s bullish potential seems limited at the time being. In the data front, the EU published June industrial production, which improved by less than anticipated, printing at 12.3% YYVS the previous 20.4%. Monthly basis, production increased by 9.1%, below the previous 12.3% and the expected 10%. The US has just published July inflation data. The monthly consumer price index was up 0.6% in the month matching the previous month reading and beating expectations of 0.3%. Yearly basis, the CPI was up 1%, while the core yearly reading printed at 1.6%, both beating expectations. Your USD short-term technical outlook The Your USD pair is trading in the 1.1780 price zone, at the higher end of its weekly range. The 4-hour chart shows that EDA is currently advancing above a bearish 20 SMA, 
after finding buyers around a bullish 100 SMA. Technical indicators, in the meantime, head north but remain stuck to neutral levels. The pair would need to advance beyond 1.1830 to confirm an upcoming bullish extension towards this year high at January 1915. Support levels 1.1740, 1 1 1.1690, 1 1.1650, resistance levels 1.1830, 1 1.1870, 1 January 1915. View live chart for the EUR USD. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Your USD battles to extend the rally beyond 1.18 HTTP NTV4X.com News ID BD31382 minutes ago by NTV4X Team Equities continue to rally, providing support to the shared currency as the EUR USD pair is nearing the 1.18 level but a bullish continuation is not yet confirmed. On the data front, US inflation ticked higher in July, further boosting the positive ruling mood. And Forex S Chief Analyst Valeria Bednarik reports. Key quotes A The US has just published July inflation data. The monthly consumer price index was up 0.6% in the month, matching the previous month reading and beating expectations of 0.3%. Yearly basis, the CPI was up 1%, while the core yearly reading printed at 1.6%. Both beating expectations AA the 4-hour chart shows that EUR USD is currently advancing above a bearish 20 SMA, after finding buyers around a bullish 100 SMA. Technical indicators, in the meantime, head north but remain stuck to neutral levels AA the EUR USD pair would need to advance beyond 1.1830 to confirm an upcoming bullish extension towards this year high at 1.1915A. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. USD rally continues as yields rise. Gold volatility spikes on massive sell off video analysis. HTTP NTV4X.com News ID C2EAF 9812202106 PM Market Overview with the prospect of agreement in Congress over a fiscal support package still some way off. Wall Street sold off into the close last night and leaves a question mark over the tone of risk appetite coming into today's session. AA bearish engulfing a candlestick on the S&P 500 also known as a bearish key one day reversal meant that the index just failed at reaching its all time high and could now begin to weigh on the outlook for equities. Despite this though, the sharp rise in treasury yields is still playing out and this is impacting across dollar major pairs and has driven an enormous corrective sell off on gold and silver. The dollar index would take another step forward in recovery on a move above 94.00 which would equate to moving below 1.1695 on EUR USD and sub 1.2980 on cable. The Reserve Bank of New Zealand did little to change its monetary policy stance overnight as expected, but continues to prepare for the potential of further easing, including the use of negative rates if needed. UK GDP for Q2 showed a growth contraction of 20.4% which shows the extent of the huge economic hit of the pandemic. Wall Street ended the session on a sour note last night as selling pressure accelerated into the close, with the S&P 500 0.8% at 3,333. Futures have stabilized this morning and are looking mildly positive E-mini S&PS 0.5% which has helped Asian markets Nikkei 0.4%, although Shanghai Composite was 0.9%. In Europe, markets are looking mixed, with FTSE futures 0.2% but DAX futures 0.2% when FTSE outperforms DAX it tends to come with mild risk negative tone. In Forex, the USD rebound continues to run, with JPY under pressure as Treasury yields continue to rise but also AUD and NZD weaker the latter feeling the hit of the RBNZ meeting. In commodities, 
it has been a wild night for gold and silver although both are a shade higher coming into the European session. Oil is over 1% higher and it will be interesting to see if the bulls can hang on this time. On the economic calendar, the main focus is for US inflation at 1330 BST which is expected to see US headline CPI growing by 0.3% on the month to leave the year on year CPI 0.8% higher in July which is an increase from 0.6% in June. U.S. core CPI is expected to grow by 0.2% on the month which would mean the year-on-year -year inflation slips back to 1.1% from 1.2% in June. The EIA crude oil inventories at 1530 BST are expected to show another drawdown of 3.1 M barrels 7.4 M barrels last week. There is also a Fed speaker to watch out for with the FUNCSA S. Robert Kaplan voter, centrist at 1600 BST. NBSP chart of the day A DAX etc. The outlook for the DAX has improved with yesterday AS strong session which added over 200 ticks. There seemed to have been a shift in sentiment. After several negative candles stuttering at resistance around 12,750-12,800 suddenly the bulls have broken out. The main technical improvement has come in the market ending the sequence of lower highs of the past few weeks. Leaving a higher low at 12,517 now means higher lows and higher highs, the building blocks of a new positive trend. Pulling through the resistance band 12,750-12,915 has put the bulls back in control. This is beginning to drive a more positive configuration on daily momentum indicators, with the RSI accelerating into the 50s and stochastics also pulling higher whilst MACD lines are looking set to bull cross. After the disappointing close on Wall Street, there could be some early weakness today, but the bulls will now looking to use 12,750-12,915 as a basis of support to build from. The bulls will now look for a close above 12,915 to confirm the improvement and then to open the July high of 13,313 as the next test. Support at 12,517 is now a higher low above 12,255 which is increasingly important as a basis of support now. NBSP Brent Crude Oil Anyone who has been trading or following Brent Crude in recent weeks will know how frustrating a period is has been to be bullish. Every time it looks as though the market is ready for a breakout, an intraday slip into the close just pulls the reins once more. The market looked to be pushing on again yesterday but a slip back into the close formed a negative candle and another failure to a close of the gap at $45.20. Finally closing the big bear gap of the key March sell-off remains elusive for the bulls as the rally wheels spins again. Despite all this, we continue to view near-term weakness on oil as a chance to buy. The bulls will be looking for $44.25 support to hold but another higher low in the $42.90 $44.90 range will maintain the bullish bias. A move below $41.30 would be the move to see the bulls lose control. Resistance is mounting at $45.80 $46.25 which needs to be overcome to open the way towards the next real resistance at $53.10 $53.80. NBSP Dow Jones Industrial Average A run of 7 positive closes on the Dow came to a halt yesterday as the bulls faltered into the close last night. Breaking out above 27580 was a key near-term move, but a pullback now threatens. This breakout is now an initial basis of support, but the bulls will now be looking to find the next higher low anywhere between 27,070 and 27,580 the old highs from July and June respectively. Momentum is strong, but just tailing off now and this could usher a near-term slip back in which would be the source of the next opportunity to buy. The hourly chart shows how the selling pressure accelerated into the close never a great sign for the bulls and which will leave a negative bias coming into today as session futures are broadly flat this morning. The bulls would not want to lose support at 26,610 whilst support of the higher low around 26,000 is now key. Yesterday AS high at 28,155 is the initial resistance now restricting the market in front of the bear gap at 28,428,890. NBSP read more analysis here EURUSD, 
GBPUSD, USDJPY, Gold. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Gold clings to intraday gains near session tops, around $1,940 area at ntv4x.com News ID 46 a 7 f 1 2 minutes ago by Haresh Manghani Gold witnessed an intraday short covering move from three-week lows. A modest USD pullback underpinned the dollar-denominated commodity. A combination of factors kept a lid on any strong gains for the yellow metal. Gold held on to its goodish recovery gains through the early North American session and was last seen hovering near the top end of its daily range, around the $1,940 NBSP region. The precious metal witnessed a dramatic turnaround on Wednesday and rallied around $85.90 from the $1,863.62 area, or three-week lows. The US dollar struggled to capitalize on its early gains instead witnessed a modest pullback and was seen as one of the key factors that led to some aggressive short covering move around the dollar-denominated commodity. Despite hopes of a U.S. economic recovery, the impasse over the next round of the U.S. fiscal stimulus measures exerted some pressure on the greenback. Even Wednesday's hotter-than-expected U.S. consumer inflation figures for July to impress the USD bulls or provide any impetus or provide any meaningful impetus albeit a combination of factors kept gains for the commodity. A strong rally in the equity markets, amid optimism over a potential vaccine for the highly contagious coronavirus disease, undermined the precious metal as safe haven demand. This comes amid some follow-through pickup in the U.S. Treasury bond yields, which further collaborated towards capping gains for the non-yielding yellow metal, at least for the time being. Hence, it will be prudent to wait for some strong follow-through buying before positioning for any further gains and the resumption of the commodity's prior well-established bullish trend to record highs, set last Friday. Technical levels to watch XAU USD overview today last price 1937.34 today daily change 26.74 today daily change percent 1.40 today daily open 1910.6 NBSP trends daily SMA 201930.74 daily SMA 50 1825.35 daily SMA 1001759.2 daily SMA 200 647.47 NBSP levels previous daily high 2030.09 previous daily low 1901.52 previous weekly high 2075.32 previous weekly low 1960.67 previous monthly high 1984.8 previous monthly low 1757.7 daily Fibonacci 38.2% 1950.63 daily Fibonacci 61.8% 1980.8 0.98 daily pivot point S1 1864.72 daily pivot point S2 1818.83 daily pivot point S3 1736.15 daily pivot point R1 1993.29 daily pivot point R2 2075.97 daily pivot point R3 2121.86 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Sterling wavers as UK data shows return to growth analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 76F2228122021 10.31 pm The British pound was little changed today as investors reacted to the economic data released. According to the Office of National Statistics ONS, the country's economy contracted by 20.4% in the second quarter after dropping by 2.2% in the first quarter. The decline was better than the 20.5% that analysts were expecting. The economy contracted by 21.7% on an annualized basis. 
but there are signs that the economy is recovering. Data from the ONS showed that construction output increased by 23.5% in June while industrial and manufacturing production increased by 9.3% and 11%, respectively. The numbers came a day after the ONS released mixed jobs numbers. The New Zealand dollar declined slightly as traders reacted to the RBNZ interest rate decision. The central bank left the interest rate unchanged at 0.25%, as most analysts were expecting. It also decided to increase its large-scale asset purchases to NZ$100 billion. In the monetary policy statement, the bank praised the government for how it dealt with the pandemic. But it also warned that the country's economy could take time to recover fully because of some sectors like tourism and hospitality. As a result, it said that measures like negative rates and more QE are in play. NBSP The euro rose against the US dollar even after Eurostat released weak industrial production data. According to the Statistics Bureau, the industrial production in the eurozone rose by 9.1% on a month-on-month -month basis. This was lower than the 10.0% that analysts were expecting and the previous increase of 12.3%. The production declined by 12.3% on an annualized basis, which was better than the previous decline of 20.4%. Other data by the Italian Statistics Office showed that the country's consumer inflation declined by 0.2% in July while the harmonized CPI declined by 0.7%. Meanwhile inflation data in the United States saw the headline CPI rise by 1% while the core CPI increased by 0.5%. NBSP EUR USD The EUR USD pair is trading at 1.1768, which is slightly above the DIA's low of 1.1714. On the 4-hour chart, the price has formed an equidistance channel that is shown in red. It is also between the 50-day and 100-day exponential moving averages. Also, the average true range ATR, which is a good measure of volatility has been in a downward trend. Therefore, the pair is likely to continue rising as bulls target the upper side of the channel at January 1910. NBSP NZD USD The NZD USD pair declined today as investors reacted to the RBNZ interest rate decision. The pair is trading at 0.6554, which is slightly above the intraday low of 0.6523. On the 4-hour chart, the price is below the short and medium-term moving averages. The signal and main lines of the MACD have dropped to the lowest level since May this year. By dropping below the important support of 0.6577, it means that bears have prevailed which means that the price is likely to continue falling as bears test the support at 0.6500. NBSP USD JPY The USD JPY pair rose today ahead of a $34 billion US Treasuries. The pair is trading at 106.85, which is close to the highest level since July 24. On the 4-hour chart, the price has moved above the 50-day and 100-day EMAs while the RSI has climbed to the highest level since June. It is also slightly below the 50% Fibonacci retracement level. Therefore, the pair is likely to continue rising as bulls aim for the next resistance at 107.00. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. USD CAD extends slide to fresh 6 day lows near 1.3360. HTTP ntv4x.com News ID E543C5 6 minutes ago by Aaron Seng Ezer. USD CAD pair continues to push lower in early American session. US dollar index turned south following US data releases. WTI clings to strong daily gains above $42. The USD CAD pair continued to push lower in the early American session and touched its lowest level in nearly a week at 1.3257. As of writing, the pair was down 0.3% on the day at 1.3260. DXY struggles to hold above 93.50 A renewed selling pressure on the greenback allowed USD CAD to extend its slide. 
The data published by the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics showed on Wednesday that the core consumer price index CPI rose from 1.2% to 1.6% in the U.S. and surpassed analysts' estimate of 1.1%. Furthermore, other data revealed that real average hourly earnings declined by 0.4% on a monthly basis in July. Meanwhile, U.S. Treasury Secretary Nukin reaffirmed that President Donald Trump would like to go ahead with a capital gain tax cut. This comment seemingly provided a boost to market sentiment and caused the USD to lose interest. At the moment, US dollar index lost is down 0.28% on the day at 93.38. On the other hand, although the OPEC in its monthly report said that it was expecting the global oil demand to decline by 9.06 million in 2020, crude oil preserved its bullish momentum. With the barrel of West Texas Intermediate WTI gaining nearly 2% on the day at $42.40, the commodity-sensitive loonie gathered further strength against its rivals. Later in the session, the U.S. Energy Information Administration's weekly crude oil stocks change data will be watched closely by the market participants. NBSP technical levels to watch for USD CAD overview today last price 1.3264 today daily change 0.0037 today daily change percent 0.28 today daily open 1.3301 NBSP trends daily SMA 201.3406 daily SMA 501.3498 daily SMA 1001.375 daily SMA 2001.3531 NBSP levels previous Previous daily high 1.3361 Previous daily low 1.3271 Previous weekly high 1.3451 Previous weekly low 1.3234 Previous monthly high 1.3646 Previous monthly low 1.3331 Daily Fibonacci 38.2% 1.3305 Daily Fibonacci 61.8% 1.3326 Daily Pivot Point S1 1.3261 daily pivot point S2 1.3221 daily pivot point S3 1.3171 daily pivot point R1 1.3351 daily pivot point R2 1.3401 daily pivot point R3 1.3441 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Your USD firmer and closer to the 1.18 marked ntv4x.com news ID for a 68C16 minutes ago by Pablo Piavano. Your USD picks up pace and trades near the 1.18 level. The dollar loses the grip further, yields remain on the rise. US CPI rose 0.6% MOM and 1.0% YOY, surpassing consensus. The selling bias in the greenback is helping EUR USD to challenge three day highs in the vicinity of 1.18 the figure on Wednesday. EUR USD stronger post US CPI EUR USD is accelerating the bounce off the vicinity of 1.1700 and is now around a cent higher flirting at the same time with multi-day highs. The pair extends the rebound always in response to the continuation of the downside in the dollar, which trades in daily lows when gauged by the US dollar index DXY. The prevailing risk on sentiment continues to favor the leg higher in the pair, also sustained by yields of the US 10-year note trading in new five-week highs following the US CPI results. In fact, U.S. inflation tracked by the CPI surpassed estimates in July, rising 0.6% MOM and 1.0% from a year earlier. In the same line, the core CPI gained 0.6% in term month and 1.6% over the last 12 months. Earlier in the euro area, industrial production in the block extended the rebound and expanded more than 9% during June. What to look for around your your USD pushed higher and recorded new highs near January 1920 in the second half of last week, triggering a corrective move to the 1.17 zone so far. The July-August rally, while largely triggered by broad-based dollar selling and improved sentiment in the risk-associated universe, found extra sustain in auspicious results from domestic fundamentals, 
which have been in turn supporting further the view of a strong economic recovery in the wake of the coronavirus fallout. Also lending wings to the momentum around the euro appear the recently clinched deal on the European Recovery Fund A which helped putting political fears within the bloc to rest for now A and the solid position of the current account in the region. Your USD levels to watch at the moment, the pair is gaining 0.42% at 1.1789 and a breakout of January 1916 2020 high August 6 would target January 1996 high May 14. 2018 en route to January 2032 23.6% FIBO of the 2017-2018 rally. On the other hand, the next support is located at 1.1695 monthly low August 3 followed by 1.1495 monthly high March 9 and finally 1.1448 50% FIBO of the 2017-2018 rally. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. SP500 plunged what has changed and what has not. Analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 9832E812 2021 pm From within spitting distance of the all time highs, stocks forcefully retreated, validating my call of a bear raid being likely to arrive soon. Just as I wrote, the bulls better tread carefully entering this week's trading A after being soundly defeated on Monday, the bears came back stronger yesterday. Still, I closed the Thursday opened long position for a 52-point gain, and didn't he give up a single point back with another quick long opened and exited yesterday. In similarly dicey situations that count on a reversal to bring in more profits, I like to have a reasonably tight stop loss A not to mention adjusting it throughout the day so as to improve the open trade's risk reward ratio. That s what my intraday stock trading alerts are all about because an oftentimes overlooked aspect of all the profits at the beautifully rising equity curve, is how much risk the trader actually undergoes so as to reach those gains. Needless to say, I like to play it as safe as possible. With yesterday's steep move lower being a wake-up call for the bulls, let us update the outlook wherever relevant. NBSP SP500 In the short run I'll start with the daily chart perspective so, the downswing materialized yesterday, and the bears finally put their money where their mouth was. The S&P 500 didn't make it to the Feb all-time highs, erasing previous two sessions gains. The fiercer battles I called for yesterday, are in. Does it mean we've seen a reversal let us turn for a fitting answer to my Friday S stock trading alert, it's imperative to assess the downswing S internals, whether it is or ISNT turning into something more serious and not merely temporary. Having said that, let us turn to the credit markets. NBSP the credit markets point of view what a slide, closing at the intraday lows please see this and many more charts at my home site. The rising volume shows that the bears have been serious. Put its absolute level into context though, and two things become apparent. First, that we haven't likely seen a true reversal, and then that a return to previous highs 1t be a one-day event. Thus, it confirms the view that we've seen a setback, and the key question is how long will it take to repair the short-term damage a this concerns both the HYG ETF and S&P 500. Investment grade corporate bonds LQD ETF seconded that decline, and on markedly rising volume. When quality bonds are losing breath, and faster than their riskier counterparts, it's naturally concerning. Well worth keeping a close eye on. Both leading credit market ratios a high-yield corporate bonds to short-term treasuries HYG SHI and investment-grade corporate bonds to longer-dated treasuries LQD IEIA are currently pointing down, and the turnaround has been steep in both cases. This spells caution a how close is their bottom encouragingly, longer-dated treasuries caught a bid yesterday. They refused to extend losses during the U.S. session which could indicate that the demand for quality bonds ISNT all that far from returning. Considering how much has the S&P 500 black line been extended before yesterday's decline, 
stocks have kept up really well relative to the HYG shy ratio. The jury is out on whether stocks would catch up with another downswing, or whether corporate bonds would rebound, and the best course of action is watch carefully for telling signs either way, and then to take appropriate action from the risk-reward ratio point of view. And what about those yesterday mentioned three good reasons why the stock rally has a high likelihood to go on a are they still valid today NBSP small caps, emerging markets and other clues the Russell 2000 IWM ETF also reversed to the downside, but actually gave up less ground than the 500 strong index. That s a bullish sign. Emerging markets EEM ETF actually moved higher yesterday, ignoring the dollar reversing intraday losses to close practically unchanged. These stocks are also sending a rather bullish signal. The daily market breadth chart doesn't bring much new to the table a the decline has been relatively orderly, and the advanced decline line thus lacks fireproof implications. The same can't be said about copper though. The red metal is enjoying a good week, having retraced a sizable part of Friday's heavy selling. While that s constructive, the bulls can't yet sound the all clear and the coming sessions would put to test its dead cat bounce hypothesis. Technology XLK ETF declined, but not that profoundly so as to say that it's now leading the S&P 500 lower. Yes, it's ahead of the index with its yesterday S downswing, but one swallow doesn't make a spring, which is why I am not ascribing a bearish signal to this sector just yet. NBSP summary summing up Yesterday SSMP 500 downswing took some cream off the bullish spirits, and the very short-term signals are inconclusive. The deterioration in credit markets stands against solid performance in small caps, emerging markets, copper, and also the overnight recovery in gold. Yes, it's paying off to be watching gold as closely as I do, because that s another piece to the stock market puzzle. Should the yellow metal S rebound from the overnight $1,880 mark extend beyond today's close, that would be an indication we aren't facing an immediate liquidity crunch today. And its absence would take some pressure off the stock prices. In the short run though, stocks aren't out of the woods just yet totally, but I expect them to power higher and overcome the Feb highs before 2020 is over. NBSP NBSP want free follow-ups to the above article and details not available to 99% investors sign up to our free newsletter today NBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real-time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna I come from www.ntv4x.com. USDCHF drops to session low, bears eyeing a break below 0 0.9100 marked ntv4x.com news ID 430,045 4 minutes ago by Harish Menghani USDCHF faced rejection near the 0 0.9200 mark and snapped 4 days of the winning streak. Renewed selling around the USD was seen as a key factor exerting pressure on the major. The risk on mood might undermine the safe haven CHF and help limit any deeper losses. The USD CHF pair refreshed daily lows during the early North American session, with bears now eyeing a sustained break below the 0 0.9100 round figure mark. The pair failed to capitalize on its early uptick to 112 week tops instead faced rejection near the 0 0.9200 mark and for now, seems to have stalled its recent bounce from multi-year lows. The pullback marked the first day of a negative move in the previous five and was sponsored by the emergence of some fresh selling around the US dollar. Despite rising hopes of a US economic recovery and some follow-through pickup in the US Treasury bond yields, the impasse over the next round of the fiscal stimulus exerted some pressure on the greenback. Even Wednesday's hotter than expected U.S. consumer inflation figures failed to impress the USD bulls or lend any support to the USD CHF pair. Meanwhile, the global risk sentiment remained well supported by the latest optimism over a potential vaccine for the highly contagious coronavirus diseases. The risk on flow might undermine demand for the safe haven Swiss franc and help limit deeper losses for the USD CHF major, warranting some caution for bearish traders. Hence, 
it will be prudent to wait for some strong follow-through selling below the 0.9100 mark before confirming that the recent corrective bounce might have run out of the steam and positioning for the resumption of the prior well-established bearish trend. Technical levels to watch USDCHF overview today last price 0.9116 today daily change 0.0052 today daily change percent 0.57 today daily open 0.9168 NBSP trends daily SMA 200.9221 daily SMA 500.9376 daily SMA 100.9532 daily SMA 200.9646 NBSP levels previous daily high 0.9178 previous daily low 0.9105 previous weekly high 0.9242 previous weekly low 0.9051 previous monthly high 0.9494 previous monthly low 0.9056 daily Fibonacci 38.2% 0.915 daily Fibonacci 61.8% 0.9133 daily pivot point S1 0.9123 3. Daily pivot point S20.9078 Daily pivot point S30.905 Daily pivot point R10.9196 Daily pivot point R20.9223 Daily pivot point R30.9269 NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, Text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. US dollar index drops to fresh lows near 93.30 HTTP ntv4x.com news ID 800,022 5 minutes ago by Pablo Piavano DXY loses further momentum and hovers around the 93.30 region. US 10 year yields rose to multi week highs just below 0.70%. US headline, core CPI rose more than expected in July. The greenback is now losing further ground and drags the US dollar index DXY to fresh daily lows in the vicinity of 93.30 on Wednesday. US dollar index offered post CPI the index is now trading well into the negative ground following three consecutive daily advances and another failed attempt to retest the key resistance area in the 94.00 neighborhood. In the meantime, bets for a deal regarding a new stimulus package seem to be losing further traction particularly after Treasury Secretary S. Nukin casted some doubts over a compromise to reach such an agreement. The decline in the index comes on the back of a moderate pickup and investors saw appetite for riskier assets and despite yields of the key U.S. 10-year reference managed to clinch fresh multi-week tops just below 0.70%. In the U.S. data space, Inflation measured by the headline CPI rose 0.6% MOM and 1.0% YOY while prices stripping food and energy costs also rose above expectations 0.6% in term month and 1.6% from a year earlier. What to look for around USD The dollar managed to leave behind the area of two-year lows near 92.50 in the second half of last week and reclaimed the boundaries of the 94.00 neighborhood earlier on Wednesday, where is located the so far monthly peaks August 3rd. Looking at the broader picture and despite the Anjing rebound, investors remain bearish on the dollar against the usual backdrop of a dovish Fed, the unabated advance of the pandemic and somewhat diminishing momentum in the economic recovery, while renewed US-China effervescence appears to have lent some oxygen to the currency as of late. On another front, the speculative community remained well into the negative territory for yet another week, supporting the view that a more serious bearish trend could be shaping up around the dollar. US dollar index relevant levels at the moment, the index is losing 0.29% at 93.38 and faces the next support at 92.52 2020 low August 6 seconded by 91.80 monthly low May 18 and finally 89.23 monthly low April 2018. On the other hand, a break above 93.99 weekly high August 3 would aim for 94.2038.2% FIBO of the 2017-2018 drop and then 96.0350% FIBO of the 2017-2018 drop.
subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. SMP 500 index opens nearly 1% higher. Financial stocks fuel rally. NTV4x.com news idea 2b 86b 6 minutes ago by Aaron Seng Ezer Wall Street S main indexes opened sharply higher on Wednesday. U.S. Treasury Secretary Nukin says Trump wants a capital gain tax cut. Financial stocks post strong gains on surging U.S.T. bond yields. Major equity indexes in the U.S. opened the day decisively higher on Wednesday as the market mood turns upbeat on hopes of U.S. President Donald Trump introducing tax cuts for capital gains. As of writing, the S&P 500 was up 0.9% on the day at 3,363, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was gaining 0.77% at 27,902 and the Nasdaq Composite was rising 1.15% at 11,002. During an interview with Fox Business earlier in the day, U.S. Treasury Secretary Nukin reaffirmed that Trump was in favor of a capital gain tax and added that the president wants to move forward with a fair proposal on coronavirus aid legislation. Reflecting the risk-positive environment, the CBOE Volatility Index, Wall Street's fear gauge is down 6.65% on a daily basis. NBSP Among the 11 major S&P 500 sectors, the financials index is up more than 1% boosted by surging U.S. Treasury bond yields. On the other hand, the Industrial Index and the Energy Index are underperforming by rising only 0.25% on the day. S&P 500 Chart Daily Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Fed S. Rosengren recent slowdown in economic activity to continue as states restrict activity ished ntv4x.com news ID 765AB1 3 minutes ago by Aaron Seng Ezer consumer spending in the United States will likely be lower relative to the past until social activities carry less risk, NBSP Boston Federal Reserve President Eric Rosengren said on Wednesday. Additional takeaways Recent slowdown in the U.S. economic activity is likely to continue as states restrict activities. With social distancing requirements, momentum toward returning quickly to full employment is fading. There has been a steady increase in Main Street loans as businesses and banks become more familiar with the program. There are currently more than $856 million NBSP in active loans, with more than $250 million settled. Market reaction The U.S. dollar index edged slightly higher in the last minutes and was down 0.2% on the day at 93.46 at the time of press. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi. I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Dollar was sold in Asia and Europe, but is poised to bounce in North America. Analysis HTTP ntv4x.com News ID A01 BAC 8 12 2022 27 3 p.m. Overview The biggest rise in the U.S. 10 year yield in a couple of months, as the record quarterly refunding got underway, may have helped stabilize the dollar after an earlier decline. The S&P 500 threatened to extend its advance for the eighth consecutive session yesterday, but a late sell-off stopped it cold after scaling to new five-month highs. Although it posted a key reversal by closing below Monday's low, there has been no follow-through selling, and higher share prices point to an opening gain of around 0.6%. The Nasdaq continued to underperform. Asia-Pacific equities were mixed. The weaker yen helped lift Japanese shares, while Hong Kong and Korean shares continued to advance. However, other markets in the region, including China, Taiwan, Australia, and India fell. 
European stocks edging higher, but the Dow Jones Stock 600 remains a few percentage points off last month's high. Bond yields are 2-4 BP firmer across the board, which puts the US benchmark yield near 68 BP. A week ago, it was approaching 50 BP. New Zealand's expansion of its asset purchases helped New Zealand bonds buck the move, and the benchmark 10-year yield is almost 5 BP lower near 71 BP. The New Zealand dollar joins the yen as the weakest of the majors today. The Scandies are the strongest. The Turkish lira remains under pressure, falling another 1.4% or so against the greenback, while most emerging market currencies are little changed. The JP Morgan Emerging Market Currency Index is posting a small gain after yesterday's 0.35% gain, the largest in a couple of weeks. Gold dropped like a ton of bricks, losing around 5.7% in its largest drop since April 2013. It sliced through our $1,950 target and skidded to nearly $1,863 in Asia. It recovered to back to $1,950 before the buying dried up in early Europe. Oil remains firm after the API estimated U.S. inventories fell for the third consecutive week. The September WTI contract looks pinned between the 20-day moving average near $41.30 and the 200-day moving average around $43.65. NBSP Asia Pacific The Reserve Bank of New Zealand left its cash rate target unchanged at 25 BP but announced an NZD dollar 100 BLN expansion of its long-term asset purchase program. Unlike other major countries, New Zealand's fiscal initiatives remain aggressive and are larger and more front-loaded than the RBNZ had anticipated. However, with Auckland back under lockdown, the central bank kept its options open going forward. It suggested three areas it could move, which itself is a bit of forward guidance. It could launch a term lending facility long-term cheap loans, cut the cash rate further though so far, no current account deficit country has adopted negative policy rates, or purchase foreign assets. The latter shows that the exchange rate is on the central bank's radar screen too. The US sanctions on 11 Hong Kong officials that were recently announced put Chinese banks in an awkward position. They have to honor the US actions by not doing business with the said officials or risk their access to US dollar funding. According to press reports, Chinese banks are complying. At the end of last year, the top four Chinese banks had around $1.1 trillion of dollar funding. Of course, Chinese officials loathe complying, but the dependence of dollar funding drives home the long reach of the US and the role of the dollar in the world economy. In retaliation, Beijing sanctioned 11 US officials, but with little teeth compared with the US. No date has been set for senior US and Chinese officials to review the Phase 1 trade agreement. It is still expected in the coming days. By most reckoning, China's purchases of U.S. goods trails far behind where it ought to be if it were on track to comply with the $200 BLN increase over 2017 levels by the end of next year. Reports suggest Beijing wants to talk about U.S. actions to ban TikTok and WeChat next month if they are still under Chinese ownership. The former may not be, but the latter will. China does not allow U.S. giants, like Google and Facebook, though U.S. actions were not tit-for-tat, cited on national security grounds. The dollar extended its recovery off the 104 Japanese yen approached at the end of July and now has poked through 106 Japanese yen and 80 sen for the first time in more than three weeks. However, the momentum is stalling, and the intraday technicals warn of a likely pullback in North America. Initial support is seen near 106 Japanese yen and 40 sen. A $1.10 BLN option at 106 Japanese yen expires tomorrow a smaller one expires there today, but is unlikely to be impactful. After peaking near $0.7190 yesterday, the Australian dollar was sold down to around $0.7110 in regional turnover before recovering to about $0.7135 in Europe. Additional near-term gains are likely to be kept ahead of $0.7150. The PBOC set the dollar's reference rate a touch firmer than the bank models at 6.9597 Chinese yuan.
the dollar slipped against the yuan for the third consecutive session, the longest losing streak in a little more than a month. NBSP Europe 2 issues are coming to a head this week that may underscore the divergence between the US and Europe, and that divergence may continue on the other side of the US elections. First, there is an opportunity to review the tariffs, accepted by the WDO, for the illegal subsidies given to Airbus. Some reports suggest that new tariffs on alcohol are under consideration. And, incidentally, the UK may not be in the EU, and it may be seeking a free trade agreement with the US, but it will not protect it in these matters. Second, the US is pressing at the UN Security Council to make the ban on arms sales to Iran permanent. Europe has failed to achieve a satisfactory workaround after the US withdrew, and Iran is pushing the envelope under the treaty. Europe broke from the US decision to unilaterally withdraw from the deal and does not want to accept a fait accompli now. Russia and China threatened to veto it if it got to a vote, which itself requires a 2-3 majority. It was confirmed. The UK Q2 contraction of 20.4% quarter over quarter was the largest decline in output seen among the large economies. No sector was spared. Services output fell by 20%. Industrial output by 17%, consumption by 23%, business investment collapsed by almost 31.5%. Even government spending fell. Still, the bright spot is that it is history. June output expanded by 8.7%, and May's output was revised to 2.4% from 1.8%. The early projection is for the economy to grow by around 13% here in Q3. The magnitude of the Q2 contraction may encourage the government to extend the furlough program 10 MLN people and could see additional fiscal measures. The Turkish lira surrendered yesterday's gains, and the dollar is back straddling the tri 7.3 area. Although Erdogan has called for lower rates, the central bank is forcing funding costs higher. Today, it removed a discount for primary dealers, and funding costs reportedly rose to around 9.75%. This is almost 200 BP more than the July average 7.35%. Given the elevated volatility, the apparent policy confusion, and the lack of reserves, the rise in funding costs is hardly sufficient to stop the rot. The euro briefly poked through $1.18 yesterday, but the corrective pressures emerged in late North American dealings, and the single currency did not find support until close to $1.1710 in late Asian turnover. The bounce in Europe brought it back to around $1.1780. The intracession technical reading is stretched, and another bout of profit-taking is likely in North America today. Similarly, sterling peaked around $1.3130 in North America yesterday and fell to about $1.3010 in Asia earlier today. The bounce in Europe to almost $1.3070 appears to have exhausted the buying and stretched the intraday technical readings. Look for North American operators to sell into these sterling gains. NBSP America The record quarterly refunding kicked off with the $48 BLN sale of three-year notes for a sliver below 18 BP. The record low yield did not deter investors, and the bid to cover was 2.44, a smidgen higher than the recent average. Another sign of the strength of demand was that primary dealers, who are obligated to participate, took 30.7% of the issue, the least this year. Indirect participants, which include asset managers and foreign central banks, bought 57% of the new three-year note, the most in around 3.5 years. Today, Treasury sells $38 BLN of 10-year notes, which is about 9 BLN more than last quarter's sale. On Thursday, it will sell $26 BLN of the 30-year bond. Yields have backed up in recent days, despite no new fiscal stimulus and expectations that this week's economic data will show some moderation from June. The 10-year yield closed 12 BP higher than it was on August 6, and the 30-year yield was nearly 15 BP higher. The bearish steepening saw the 210-year curve saw 50 BP for the first time in a month. The 0.6% rise in U.S. headline July producer prices was larger than expected and mostly a function of core prices, 
which rose by 0.5%. Still, the takeaway is not that inflation is rising. Indeed, with the headline year-over-year -year rate at 0.4%, deflation is a better description. The core rate of 0.3% suggests disinflationary forces remain. Good prices were lifted by a 5.3% rise in energy prices, while food prices fell by 0.5%. Prices of final services rose by 0.5%, the most in a little more than a year, led by portfolio management and vehicle and machine wholesaling costs. Final demand prices for personal consumption rose by 0.5%, while the July CPI on tap today, is expected to increase by 0.3%. If so, the year-over-year -year rate would edge up to 0.7% from 0.6%. The core rate is forecast to ease to 1.1% from 1.2%. While higher prices in some sectors are possible due to bottlenecks, it is difficult to envision a general increase in prices with the much unused industrial capacity, a higher level of unemployment than at the peak of the great financial crisis, and a velocity of money that is flatlining. Joe Biden's pick of Kamala Harris as his vice president candidate is not particularly surprising she was widely seen as a likely, if not the most likely pick. Still, we see little economic significance. It is more about politics, and even here we do not expect a significant bump in the polls. The US dollar is trading within yesterday's range against the Canadian dollar 1.3270 Canadian dollars 1.3360 Canadian dollars. Canada reported strong housing starts data yesterday, underscoring our observation that auto and housing are among the sectors leading the recovery in both the US and Canada. The US dollar is little changed ahead of the North American session, where it seems poised to probe higher. A test on yesterday's highs seems reasonable. Mexico reported robust June industrial output figures yesterday 17.9%, led by manufacturing. Mining and utility output lagged. A 50 BP rate cut is widely expected to be delivered tomorrow. The dollar slipped to a six-day low yesterday near 22 Mexican pesos and 26 centavos before bouncing back to 22 Mexican pesos and 50 centavos. Although, as the North American dealers return, the greenback is near its lows 22 Mexican pesos and 30 centavos, expect yesterday's lows to hold and for the dollar to recover. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Australian Employment Preview Disappointing Figures Mostly Priced in Analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID A1266881222 24.34pm Australia is expected to have recovered just 40k job positions in July. Rabat's Governor Lowe anticipated the unemployment rate could fall to 10% by year-end. AUDUSD could seesaw with the data, but the direction will continue to depend on sentiment. Speculative interest is heading into the release of Australian employment data without much expectations. The country is anticipated to have recovered just 40k job positions in July, way below the 210.8k added in June. The unemployment rate is expected to have ticked higher to 7.8% from 7.4% in the previous month, while the participation rate is seen rising from 64% to 64.4%. Wages growth and the RBA just last week, Rabat's Governor Lowe repeated that, while the economy is recovering, a this recovery is, however, likely to be both uneven and bumpy a amid the latest lockdown in the Victoria region. The Reserve Bank of Australia also forecasted that economic activity would contract by 6% this year, while policymakers see the unemployment rate rising to around 10% by the end of the year. With this in mind, an uptick to 7.8% as forecasted would be negative for the Aussie, but far from a surprise. Ahead of the monthly employment report, the country published the Q2 wage price index early on Wednesday, which was up by 0.2% in the quarter, 
and rose 1.8% when compared to the second quarter of 2019. That would be the slowest pace of growth on record, and the weakest reading since the records began in September 1997. The headlines had a limited impact on the Aussie, as the AUD-USD pair briefly dipped to 0.7108 to trade now in the green on the back of the Marquetta S sentiment, which still is the main market motor. AUD-USD possible scenarios NBSP and upbeat reading could boost AUD-USD momentum, moreover considering the market is waiting for a poor outcome. NBSP the market is now betting against the greenback, but these days, the dollar tends to appreciate during U.S. trading hours, amid optimism about a U.S. economic comeback, after U.S. President Trump said he sees no reason why the country won a T growth 20% in Q3. Should the dollar head into the release with a strong note and Australian figures result worse than anticipated, then chances are of a steeper decline. The level to watch to the downside is 0.7070, as a break below it would signal a bearish continuation. To the upside, the level to surpass is 0.7200. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. FX Update A U.S. Inflation Rises Again Analysis HTTP NTV4X.com News ID 4 FBC 8582122-1649 PM U or USD, H1 The July CPI report sharply beat estimates with gains of 0.6% for both the headline and core, following respective June gains of 0.6% and 0.2% hence leaving the two largest headline gains since the same 0.6% increase in August of 2012. The June and July gains capped three consecutive monthly declines for both series, as the initial impact of shutdowns was a demand shock, followed by a rebound in oil prices and growing supply constraints for some components that will become increasingly evident as we approach Q4. July CPI gains rounded from 0.587% for the headline and 0.620% for the core. The big headline gain did not just reflect a 2.5% July rise in energy prices after a 5.1% June surge, after five consecutive declines for the energy component through May. We also saw huge apparel price gains, of 1.1% in July and 1.7% in June after declines of 2.3% in May, 4.7% in April, and 2.0% in March. Used vehicle prices rose by a hefty 2.3% in July after a three-month string of declines, while new vehicle prices rose 0.8%, as demand in the vehicle sector exceeds supply following Q2 factory shutdowns. The medical care service component rose 0.5% in July leaving a five-month stretch of big 0.5% 0.6% gains, alongside a 0.4% rise for the separate medical cost measure, which has increased by 0.4% 0.5% since March. Tobacco prices also rose 0.8%, after a 1.1% June rise. For price restraint, food prices fell 0.4%, leaving the first drop for the series since April of 2019, and owner saw equivalent rent rose just 0.2%, after a 0.1% June rise that was the smallest gain since the same increase in July of 2013. Beef prices are up 14% YY and even white bread is up 5.6% YY and carbonated beverages 9.2%. On the other hand Mina S suits were down 12.8% and Women S dresses 23.1% as workwear demand evaporated. On a 12-month basis, headline CPI accelerated to 1.0% from 0.6% YY previously, while the core measure rose to 1.6% from 1.2% YY real average hourly earnings fell 0.4% in July after a 1.8% was 1.7% June drop, and slowed to 3.7% YY from 4.1% YY. Despite the big June and July gains that have mostly just reversed the pullback with the pandemic, 
we still have a net downtrend for CPI increases, given six-month average price moves of 0.005% for the headline and 0.078% for the core that both undershoot respective 12-month average gains of 0.086% and 0.130%. The CPI and PPI reports are showing evidence of supply constraints since May, with an uptrend in oil prices and spikes for some prices, after huge March and April declines with the coronavirus hit to aggregate demand. The demand hit remains big, but we should see increasing evidence of supply chain disruptions as we approach Q4. The dollar has been pegged back in the last few hours into the US Open and the CPI data adds to the mood music. Eurist is testing the 1.1800 zone again from lows at 1.1709, as JP has declined from 107.00 highs to below R1 at 106.75 and Cable has bounced from below S1 at 1.3005 to test the 20-hour moving average at 1.3043. The Swiss franc is the strongest of the major currencies today with us trading hands currently at 0.9113 a few above yesterday AS Nader at 0.9105. Whilst the Kiwi remains weighed by the dovish RBNZ earlier today with NSDUS trading at 0.6575 and the NZDCHF at a 52-day low at 0.5990. NBSP NBSP Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors. Hi, I am Anna. I come from www.ntv4x.com. Australian Employment Preview AUD USD to get a boost on a surprise reading PNTV4X.com News ID 57377F 3 minutes ago by NTV4X Team Australian Employment Data is due out on August 13 at 0130 GMT. The country is expected to have recovered just 40k job positions in July. Disappointing figures are mostly priced in, therefore, the Aussie could rise on an upbeat reading. And Forexa's chief analyst Valeria Bednarik reports. Key quotes A Australia is anticipated to have recovered just 40k job positions in July, way below the 210.8k added in June. The unemployment rate is expected to have ticked higher to 7.8% from 7.4% in the previous month, while the participation rate is seen rising from 64% to 64.4%. AA and upbeat reading could boost AUD USD momentum. Moreover considering the market is waiting for a poor outcome. Should the dollar head into the release with a strong note and Australian figures result worse than anticipated, then chances are of a steeper decline. The level to watch to the downside is 0.7070, as a break below it would signal a bearish continuation. To the upside, the level to surpass is 0.7200 ANBSP. Subscribe our channel to receive the news as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you want to read real time news, text messages to MT5 Expert Advisors page at httpsm.me mt5.expert.advisors.